Hi guys and welcome to the second episode of Reclaiming Coventry with me, John, Old Man Suda. Um, and as I said in the intro episode, uh, I'll take us up to the first game of the season today and uh, we'll have a little bit more look at the what I've done, the tactics I've created um, and the squad. So um, first off, we'll start off with the tactic. I've gone for four, three, three in a sort of diamond D shape um, and we will be actually playing a sort of diamond 4-3-2 uh, when need be. Uh, if we want to, we're getting stronger opponents, we want a little bit more defence I guess. So um, yeah, this is the team we've gone for. This is sort of the uh, tactics we're going for. I'm going to play a bit more short pass naturally. Uh, you know, we're going to play out defence, we're going to exploit the middle a bit, look for the overlaps, work the ball in the box, uh, normal line, defensive line, uh, nothing too crazy, your sort of standard tactic really. Um, and that's really it. Um, squad wise, oh sorry, going to transfers. Transfer wise, we really haven't made any sort of transfers we've brought in uh, Greg Ollie from Hull on loan uh, to play in that sort of attacking midfield wide we just don't have the finances to really buy anyone I couldn't even get anyone on free because I can't afford their signing on fees or anything uh, it's, it's been really difficult um, I also noticed as well is when we we started when I started looking at it we had no staff really so I've been concentrating more on that so as you can see staff wise um we've ended up having to uh get quite a lot of staff in uh, unfortunately we lost our director of football so i had to bring in hans van brickelen uh, something like that but yeah he looks like a pretty decent director of football um got old dwight york in as my assistant manager um yeah i thought he wouldn't be too bad uh He's, he's not great, but I thought it's Dwight York. Why not? <laughs> uh, but as you can see, yeah, yeah, we've got quite a lot of staff in. I mean, staff-wise now, as you can see, we've got the best scouting. We've got the best medical. Uh, I'm looking for one more coach, hopefully to boost up a lot of this here, especially like maybe a defensive coach so that we are nearer the top reaches in the defensive coaching uh, or in just in the co coaching overall. But... Yeah, not bad at all, guys, um, with the staff. And I'm quite happy with all the staff we've brought in. Um, and I believe, on yeah, I have got one uh, coach I've put a bid in for. I'm hoping he'll come in soon, a young coach. Uh, attributes look pretty good. So I think he could maybe boost our coaching up quite a bit. Um, so that means, like I said, I haven't really been able to bring anyone in. I haven't really sold anyone either, just because of fact but when I saw that we weren't going to be able to bring people in, I thought, well, there's no point trying to sell anyone because we need a decent-ish squad. And overall, I still think Coventry do have a decent squad in there, uh, you know, it, overall. Um, we're playing Swindon today, guys, and that'll be, I think it'll be a tough game. Uh, if you look at the media predictions for us, if I can find it. There we go, season preview. We are actually not predicted to finish 19th, so we are predicted to finish lower down. I'm actually aiming for mid to top table. Uh, obviously, if we go really well, we might end up even higher in that. But at the moment, uh, if we can finish sort of mid mid to top, then fantastic. Swindon are 14th, so it's going to be a tough game, but we have every chance of being able to win it. We are away from home, so we'll uh, we'll see how we get on. Uh, apart from that, guys, there's not really much else happened um, I, that I can really talk about. Uh, like I said, without being able to bring many players in or anything like that, and just working on the staff, it's uh, it's been what it has been. Um, and that. So we'll get straight into the game, because uh, I don't think there's much I can really say about what's going on. Hopefully we will be able to talk a bit more about about sort of players and that and bringing players and everything in the next episode or two um 
but at the moment, yeah, with, with the finances where they are, they aren't. So this is the game uh, the team are going to play. It's going to be Charles Cook uh, in goal, Harris, Turnbull, Wills, Rawson as our back four. We're going to have, uh, oh God, I can't say that name. Uh, Gail Brigamana. <laughs> uh, he's going to be uh, our box to box midfielder. Stevenson is our deep line playmaker. Gazave as our ball winning midfielder. Uh, Greg Ollie's going to come in as our sort of shadow striker just to play behind. Uh, we've got Scott Stuart Beaverson even, even as our defensive forward and Yakubu up front. Uh, on the bench, we've got Lee Burge as our defence uh, substitute goalie, Kevin Foley, Ryan Harris, Haynes, uh, Ruben Lamares, Callum Reed, and Georgie Jones, and George Thomason. So, yeah, I think we'll do all right, guys. Uh, we're going to see how we get on. So, if I just submit it. Uh, if you do see me jump or anything, I am watching Aston Villa v Watford on YouTube at the moment. So, um yeah, uh, if you see me sort of looking tomorrow, it's just because I'm watching that at the same time. Uh, if I can wait for my screen to actually show the game. There we go. Uh, right. Well, see, plenty of time to think around. Uh, it's a special day, yeah. It's just being rested. It's always nice to start with a win. I'm confident, yes, we're in a positive pre-season and looking good. Um, they're playing quite a defensive formation here. This might be quite difficult to break down, but we'll give it a go. Uh, I'm just hoping not for a, a, a loss on our first game, to be honest. Um, as I said, you know, as you can see from the preview, we're not in the best position at the moment, but I still think this team could do quite well, managed right. Uh, you can apply that passionately. We're going to say it's we're going to try and really be passionate to start off with and give them a morale boost. So, I think there's a lot to come from you. I think there's a lot to come from you, and I think there's a lot more to come from you guys. So, hopefully, let's give them a little bit of a morale boost and we'll get into the game. Okay, um, I said I'll talk a bit about myself as well. Uh, I'll do it during the game because some of you don't. Uh, probably going to be a little bit boring at times. Uh, I've been playing football manager for 15, 20 years. Um, I remember the days when you could buy more Gavin Peterson, who used to play for Blackburn, uh, for about 200k from Mould, I think it was, uh, or Freddie Adu. And, you know, so, so back in them sort of days when I first started playing, um, which is quite a little while. And we've got a highlight here. Russell friend Stevenson. Stevenson's going to knock it out to... And he's going to take a shot, and it's over. Um, so yeah, I've been—I mean, I've been playing video games for the probably the last thirty odd years um, now. Maybe yeah, 25, 30 years. Uh, played a lot of like MMOs, like World Warcraft, and that you know, the old shooters like Call of Duty. Quite big into player unknown at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've been playing video games, but I've been playing Football Manager for years and years, um, and by every season uh you know so am i any good at this game probably not well you'll probably see that but way i enjoy it it's fun and uh all you can get through now is bring with a man i can't say his name you could be with a shot and keeper saves it um so yeah that's pretty much me guys um but you know, on a personal level i'm an aston villa supporter which probably tells you more about how much I know about football than anything else. Um, nah, we Villa supporters, we know our football. Um, yeah, so I'm an Aston Villa supporter, um, and I don't know really what else to say about it. I mean, my name, Sud, well, Old Man Suda. Basically, while I used to play World Warcraft or any other games, I used to be called Suda. Um, just a name I made up. Apparently it means something in Romanian, I thought it like plumber, but uh, I don't know, I just put some letters together and made it up. And Gazvan comes in, can he get it to Oli, Oli in it, he takes a shot. Uh, we're pressing really well guys, we're doing, I think, you know, we're definitely a better side. I'm really happy with our possession at the moment, 
and a pass completion. Um, but that's me, guys. Um, yeah, that's where my name comes from. It was just basically, I used to be called Suda. I've now got older, and every time I play games, it seems to be against a lot of younger guys and that, so I started calling myself Old Man Suda. I'm a bit of a fan of comics and that sort of stuff, graphic novels, so Old Man Logan, Old Man Suda. Um, and that's just where my name came from, basically. Um, and that's pretty much it. Swindon seemed to be coming forward. Um, with Starkey out on the left, uh, we're going to attack him. No, he puts it into Kazim. He goes, knocks it to Ince, to Goldwyn. Yeah, I mean... Oh, I don't understand how he got to the ball first, but <laughs> okay. Um, but that's me, guys. Yeah, um, you know, I've been watching like Football Manager YouTube videos. Uh, I mentioned Second Yellow Card in the last video. You know, Dr. Benji, Loki Doki, Workspace, uh, all them guys. Uh, you know, some of the new guys, Brood FM and uh, G Lad and all that sort of stuff as well. So, you know, I. I follow a lot of the Football Manager YouTubes and what they do as Ollie knocks it forward to Bevon. Bevon slowly brings it forward. He gets it to Yukubu. Yukubu gets tackled. And Swindon are on the counter. Um, oh, no, we managed to tackle him to Yukubu. Can you knock it into the middle to Ollie? Ollie goes for it, sprints forward. Is he going to knock it to Bevon? Bevon with a shot and a goal. First goal of the season. First goal of the Coventry Reclaim to Awesome. No, absolutely awesome. Couldn't have asked for much more than that. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna see it in 3D. Ugh, it just takes a little while to load. Alright, so Yukubi knocks it over to Ollie. Ollie could have took a strike, but he unselfishly Passes it to Bevon and Bevan just tucks it in. Good goal for us. Good goal on the counter. Yeah, more than happy. Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I thought I'd give this uh, YouTube malarkey uh, uh, a go. Uh, and that's pretty much me, guys. Uh, I'm going to try and upload quite a lot of videos over the next week or two. Um, I'd like to even maybe get up to uploading maybe 20 or so videos as Stevenson steals the ball and is shooting up the line. Uh, takes it past one player, knocks it to Bergerman Manor, knocks it to Oli, to Bevon, to Yukubu, Yukubu back to Bergerman who takes a shot. Um, I'm kind of at half time, guys. I don't think I can be really unhappy. But uh, yeah, as I said, I was gonna try, I'm going to try and upload about as many videos as I possibly can while I'm not working, or the wife has got me doing jobs uh, over the next week or so. So um, hopefully, we'll be able to get quite a few videos. Maybe, like I said, I'd like to maybe get 20 sort of videos done quite quickly uh, just to get you guys something to watch, to binge watch. Um, and yeah, uh, right, we'll just do the half-time talk. I think we, we're doing well. Uh, I'm pleased with how things are. Keep it going, guys. Uh, everyone's looking delighted. And fitness-wise, Greg Ollie's, I'll give him 10 minutes or so, but uh, he's looking a bit tired. Fitness wasn't fantastic because I stupidly played Hereford in a friendly uh about four or five days ago thinking nah, you get a little bit of a break will be all right as ben stephen gives a foul away uh, straight after kickoff uh so swindon have a free kick swindon with a free kick with his head straight out as gaverson oh, i'm terrible with names i've really got to learn how to say some of these names uh yeah and that's the end of the highlight um yeah, so like I said, I'm going to try and get some videos out quite quickly uh, just to give you guys something to watch and um, hopefully um, that won't take too long to do as we took a free kick straight over. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say to you guys at the moment. Um, right, we're going to make a substitute. We're going to take off Greg Ollie. We're going to bring 
Geordie Jones on because he plays in that position. But we're not going to play him as a show striker. He can play there, but it's not his most natural. So we're going to play him as an advanced playmaker. Uh, looking at the rest of the team, don't think we've got. We're going to bring Clan Harris off. Uh, he's by far looks like our worst player of today. Uh, we're going to bring Ryan Hayes on for him. And I think that's all we're going to do, guys. Uh, there's not much else I think we really want to do. We're going to give them a little bit of a boost. Calm, we're going to say. I think there's a lot to come from you guys. I have faith in you. Hopefully that seems to boost them up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, so, yeah, anyway, guys, I mean, I'd love to know... If we're a week or two away from the start of well, we're a week away from the start of the championship and uh, the league uh, games. Uh, are we what two weeks away from Premiership? Maybe three. Uh, who do you think is going to win the league, Sky? Who do you think is going to win the Premier League, the Championship, Division One, Division Two? Um, you know, let's you know, it'd be great to hear from you guys. Me personally, uh, I think Man City or Chelsea will win the Premiership. Uh, I think Everton could be a dark horse. Though. They've made some really good signings, I think, this season. Um, I've got to say Aston Villa for the Championship. Uh, to be honest, I think with the signings we've made and everything like that, Aston Villa look like one of the strong sides. Middlesbrough, obviously, I think will be up there. Uh, Norwich could be up there as well. Uh, but I think overall, as Swindon come in with an attack and... Ah, they've equalised. Our defence lets down there. And unfortunately, it's on the left side where I changed the players. So that's probably my fault more than anything else. As you can see, uh, yeah, Swindon, you cross it in. The keeper makes a little bit of a hash of it, really. And he just taps it in, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I think uh, Aston Villa will win the championship um yeah i'm not sure division one division one oh great <laughs> they've knocked us twice and it's both times it's been down that left side um right, let's have a look at the tactics i don't really understand why they've all of a sudden getting us on that side there's not much i think i can do we're gonna have to go attack him uh, and we're going to make a last decision, which is a bit risky, seeing that it's uh, 25 minutes to go. But we are going to bring on... Who are we going to bring on? We are going to bring on... Callum Reid. Uh, he's not fit, but I think he can do all right for us. Um, we're going to bring Callum Reid on in that midfield sort of uh, where is he there he is there. Yeah, we're going to bring him on uh, hopefully he can do a job for us and help out a little bit but yeah this has turned into a disaster guys as I've been talking to you uh, yeah division 2 I'm going to say Coventry uh, but yeah division 1 I just think it's really up in the air um, there's a lot of teams as Wheels takes a shot and it's a mile away uh, not great um yeah uh i don't know i'll have to have a little look more as we are we've got a free kick win and straight to the goalie's hands we seem to be um in a better position now guys attacking and everything like that but yeah we have to lose in that goal as uh we've got the ball again riley long ball unfortunately Gladwin's going to pick it up, but Hayes catches it, gets it off to Yakubu. Yakubu gets it into the centre, takes it to Riley. Riley with a shot. Shooting from that far away is not really going to help us. We're putting the pressure on them, guys, uh, so I'm still hoping we can get a draw out of this. Team's starting to look tired, but yeah. Uh, it's not looking good, is it? As the time's just trickling down, ground. it's uh, yeah. Uh, oh, we've got a corner. Can we get anything out of this corner? No, Jones, can he knock it back out? 
No, it takes a. Well, that was a shot. Uh, you know, that was a bit of a wild shot, really. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's the game. Unfortunately, we've lost. I can't say I'm happy with that because I think we deserve to win it. I mean, I think as well, if you look at the stats, we had 14 shots, seven of them were on target. Yeah, I don't think we deserve to lose that, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, right. Ah, I'm so bloody annoyed about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... That's the loss, guys, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to come back probably for the Northampton and Bradford game. Uh, I think Northampton's a good one to do. You know, as I said in the last video, we've got a bit of history with Northampton. We played at the, the commentary plays at their ground last uh, couple of seasons ago. So I think Northampton would be a good one to come back. We'll come back, we'll play Bradford and the Northampton game. Uh, and yeah, what else is there to say? I'm... I'm really annoyed about that loss i feel like i've been fm'd i guess the word i guess you could say uh so that's it guys uh obviously hit the like or subscribe if you wish to be fantastic um and if not i'll see you on the next video cheers guys for watching